All right, the next thing that you do after you uh, create the post is everything we do in here, we turn in on Edmodo. Um, and that may seem a little bit excessive to people. However, it makes my life a lot easier in terms of being able to keep track of what you're doing. So to turn in a post from Google Plus on Edmodo, say I require a certain post. Um, how do you find that specific post? I don't want you to turn in a link to your whole stream. That would be like, it would not be... I could, first of all, I couldn't access it. If you just copied this link, I couldn't access it. This is your stream. But if you shared the post with me, just like a document or just like a video on YouTube or whatever, you can, simp you can share that specific post with me. To find the actual post itself, you don't click on your name. You don't click on the video title. You click on uh, the timestamp, believe it or not. I'm not sure why this is, but you click the timestamp, and it takes you to the screen where it's just that post. Okay? And then this you copy, you click it once, you right click on it, you select copy, and you go back over to Edmodo, and you turn it in by adding it as a link. Okay? So here's, you would, you know, click turn in, and then add the link. And then you would attach that post. And so then, now when I go to your turn in spot, I will actually be able to see, yes, they did the post correctly. They shared it with me, they locked it, they attached their video, those three things. All right, so that is how you turn in a post from Google+, which is what you were doing today. You're going to turn in that post that you made that has those three things. It's shared just with me, it's locked, and it includes your YouTube video that you just created last week. If you have any questions, make sure to ask somebody else in class first, and then definitely if you have any uh, further questions, make sure to ask me.